Welcome back, everybody. This is Unconditional Surrender, me, myself, and I playthrough of the main event. Games published by GMT Games, designed by Salvatore Basta. We're going to go and finish up the June 1942 turn. We are at Russian operations phase. Last time we finished up the German operations and the Western operations. The West pushed the Africa Army back in North Africa down here. Uh, the Germans failed an attempt to try and take Leningrad. They did flip a shock army around Smolensk and made some room there. And they have a minor breakthrough around Kursk and to the south. They've gotten across the Donets, broken through at Kursk, um, pushing towards Orel, Tula, and points east and south, it looks like. So the Russian response is going to have to take care of that. Oh, I have a Russian uh, tanks marker on the board. It should be in there. Sorry about that. Didn't realize that. Okay. So here we go. Um, Russians really don't. They held Leningrad by holding on to two armored tokens. Uh, the Germans won't be able to get that kind of an attack again because they won't have a heavy artillery till December. So I'll only need to keep one tanks marker back for Leningrad to stop the first attack, which is the best one they can get, if their aircraft works. Um, <clears throat> my problem here is I'm not sure if I should... I don't really want to... I don't want to give up too much ground, but I don't want to be standing here and just get annihilated by... Uh, I'm going to reset those German pieces. Get annihilated by all those Germans running around here in the south. Um... Definitely want to try and hang on to Rostov for at least another turn. Don't know that I'll be able to. I think he can get way too much on me there. Unless I really try and stuff it. But then he can break through and run to the southeast. I've only got two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. See, I took kind of a hit here. I took... An eight point will hit? Is that right? Yeah, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six ground units and a city. So I took eight. I only had forty. I can't take eight every turn. So this isn't this is a quandary for the Russians. Um <laughs> what do you think, folks? Um, I'm going to turn on my... Oops, don't want to pause it. Turning on my timer so I don't go over time on this. Um, they've got 26 to spend. If they're going to save 12, that means they really only have 14 to spend. Do they have anything? Oh, they've got a bunch to rebuild, too. So they can't spend a whole lot of stuff. So I think we're just going to kind of stay in the in the north. We'll reserve a point to rebuild the Kursk, or not the Kursk, the uh, Shock Army. Um, I think we're just going to try and move very few units. Maybe three or four. So I can build an army there. I can build an army there. So he can move to here. Yeah, I think we're going to try and hang on to Rostov. So 5th Army is going to go. Or should I just... Should I give it, give it up? Yeah, because I'm going to move this guy back. So, yeah. Um, not activate that army. Um, first off, we're going to activate this 44th. Um, he's going to go 1, 2 into that bend. Um, fifth. He's going to go there. That's 2. 16th is going to go there. That's 3. Uh, 
and then the ninth is going to go one, two, three. So that's four. One, two, three, four. Twelve and ten, and I've got eight. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. And one up there is ten. So right now, that would be like the end of my movement, which doesn't look like it's enough. Um, so maybe I shouldn't move that far south. Leave him there. Problem is, is he's probably going to break through down here. But to be perfectly honest, I really kind of want him to do the German mistake and run for Stalingrad because I can pull more armies down that I just built. I can crush him down. He's not. He, problem with the Germans is that what they're facing is they don't have enough frontage coverage, especially with this guy here. Boy, I really want to attack him. But I'm going to be a good boy and not do that. I'm going to build an army in a row, build an army in here. And then the rest are going to be foot down. So a shock army here and two armored in Moscow and or in Ryzen and Stalingrad. So that'd be four, five, six, seven. So I could actually move a couple more units. Okay, let's get this guy out of Moscow. One, two. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I could have moved this guy down to here. And then seven, eight, he can get into here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Okay. And then um, I'm going to build here, here, and here. So I think that's going to be it. So that was another one. One, two, three, four, five. I spent five. I started with 26, so I have 21. And I think the Russians are going to stop there so that they can replace the shock army, for one. They'll be able to do their airplanes for 12. Then they'll have eight left for the faction card. And if they go eight left, I want to build two armies in the shock. That's three, four, five, six, seven. I can move one more army somewhere if I want to. So I'm trying to figure out a good place to move an army. Maybe I'll break the uh, break this. We'll move him, have him go one, two, um, three, four. Yeah, I guess so. That's what we'll do. Okay. So that put me down to 20. That should give me perfect spending. 12 and 8. Or 12 and 7. 19. Oh, and 20 because I have to flip the. the I was like, yeah. Forgot, I gotta flip the. Gotta remember to flip the shock army in the replacement space. So the Russians are basically done. Um, time to go to supply. Um, looks like every. But is in supply, as far as I can tell. And then we are done with that. Uh, nobody has a no supply marker on them, so they don't have to do that. Replacements for the axis. Now, the axis had exactly thirteen left. Did I do that right? I better check. I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Right? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 I spent. I should only have 12 left. I thought so. Because that means that this infantry, the second infantry, is not going to be replaced if I bring up all my airplanes, which I need to do because the Russians are going to bring up theirs. So that's actually going to weaken my attack here. Oh, how annoying. All right, well, I need to bring up my airplanes, so. Because I need to counter his airplanes going into clear weather like this. And that's all the Germans can do. Um, they can't they can't afford anything else. Two and twelve. Uh, then we'll go do the Italians. It's gonna be a much shorter turn than I thought it was. Let's go to the Italians. Okay, three. Six. And then I guess I'll take this guy down to... to two, for ten. I could have left the convoys with each with one with two sorties and gone for this fleet, but I think this is a little better. If I can run his fleet out, I might still have enough points here to keep these guys in supply. Except I'm not going to need to keep the uh, Tobruk. Well, yeah, I am because I'm going to move in. Okay, this is something I got to remember with the Germans is spend two to move the Africa army. And I'll need to save thirteen. That's going to be hard. Decisions, decisions. Okay, that's the Axis replacements. I spent 10. Yeah. The Western replacements, they've got 20 to spend. I don't think they have anything on the mobilization card. Oh. So 20 to spend, huh? Well, I think we're going to go ahead and spend four here. So that's four. Leaves me with 16. And then I'm going to spend five for um, Gibraltar. Force H. I realize now that I could have actually tried to intercept Force H's uh, supply line to try and raise him up more sorties. Gotten him up one more sortie, but uh, probably would have taken two, two or three sorties myself just to do that, so I don't know that it was a good enough trade-off. Um, so he has 11 left. So... I'll bring the airplanes down. So that's six. That leaves him with five. Uh, so he's going to not be doing well here. So he's going to go ahead and um, just remove the sorties from this guy there. Leaves him with two. It's nothing to spend it on. Didn't do that very efficiently, did I? If I hadn't done the bomber, I could have gotten two more. I could have gotten all my convoys cleared. I have to pay attention to that a little bit more. Okay. That's the West. Soviets. First thing we're going to do is spend one to flip the shock army. So I don't forget. <laughs> I've done that in games where I'm just like, Starting the German turn is like, look at this. There's an infantry unit flipped and a shock army flipped, and the Russians are like, what? So you got to make sure you do that. 
Um, and then just like the Germans, I really need to bring my airplanes down to keep them from being able to use their airplanes. In other words, make them spend their airplanes on keeping mine from working. So this becomes a trade-off game. Um, slightly to the Germans' advantage, but so that was 12. And then I was going to build two armor and three infantry units out of my mobilization box. So I'm done. I don't have anything else to flip anyway. But yeah, I'm done with replacements. So there are no upgrades yet. Mobilization for the Axis, they don't have any points. The West doesn't have anything in the card. Soviet mobilization. Um, they have seven points. They're going to spend seven points. Uh, they're going to pull out the first tank army. Put him in, I'm not sure where. I'm going to set them over here in the illegal spaces. And the third tank army. And the second shock army. And the two infantry. Now I know the infantry, because the other guys only have one step, I want the infantry to go in a row. And I want this infantry to go on that space. So those two I know. It's where I put these others that I have questions in my mind. Part of me says I should throw a tanks marker in Stalingrad. And then these other two, tanks in Rizan and shock and Tula, just because Rizan's a little farther away, and so 10 movement points will still get me to where I need to go. And the shock army can just fall back on Moscow, depending on how bad things get. Okay. That is mobilization phase for the Soviets. There's no diplomacy because we're all at war. Victory check. They haven't conquered Germany yet, so it ain't over yet. Um, national tracks. Here's the German. I don't need the national tracks. I don't think. I need the turn track. That's what I was looking for. Okay. So we're going into July. The Germans get back their tanks marker. I don't think they get much of anything else in here. Um, UK is going to get the first Canadian to be mobilizable. Is that a word? Mobilizable? They'll be able to mobilize the first Canadian. They get their tanks markers, and they also got their free forces back. So maybe they can make a dent on that Africa army. The Russians are like, give me my tanks. I want my tanks. And the Russians get another factory. So this moves up two turns to September. I did need the national tracks. And the Urals factories goes up to seven. So they've got seven, nine, and five. Nine and five is what, 14? They'll have 28 production points next turn. I'm not doing too shabby. Um, the Russians also get another tanks marker to put in their mobilization box. So now they've got two more tanks, and they've got a shock army. And then they've got one, two, three, four, five regular armies. So took a pretty big hit there this turn. Um, I gotta slow that down some as the Russians are I might end up collapsing I've not collapsed yet in this game as the Russians so that might be instructional if I can pull it off and then the Americans also get their task force into the mobilization box and we move this forward to June ah! close this down close this down Turns that up to the weather phase. Reset everything. And that is the June 1942 turn. I'll have to edit these things and make sure I haven't made huge mistakes and massive rules violations that change the nature of the battle. But I think I went slow enough that that's not going to happen. So, that's the end of 1942. This is Strand 608. This is the me, myself, and I play through the Unconditional Surrenders main event scenario. If you like my videos, please subscribe. 
please leave comments so that I know what you like and what you don't. And we will see you next time with the beginning of the July 1942 turn. And we probably will do it the same way where I will split it into roughly three, three sections uh, for each episode from at least until winter of 42. So this is Dren 608. Bye-bye.